Yes, hello, this is uh, Tim Law with Plain of Forward Coaching and Self-Reliant U with the privilege of doing an interview with uh, Kyle O'Keefe. Looking forward to it. Certainly has a good background with uh, his college and work experience uh, that can be beneficial for you know high school students and uh, college students. Uh, so welcome, Kyle. And uh, would you be willing to share your story on what you're doing and how you got there? Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mr. Law, for having me on. Uh, so, yeah, so I went to Northeastern High School. Uh, I graduated in 2017. I played uh, baseball and swam. Uh, I played basketball one year. Uh, I went to Kutztown University, studied uh, sports management, got my bachelor's of science to that and a minor in business. Uh, I actually graduated a semester early, so I just graduated in December of 2020, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, currently right now I work for a company – in York, PA, called Aerotech. We are a um, recruiting and staffing company. So I've been starting out there since for the past couple of weeks. So uh, that's where I've been at and with my journey so far, Mr. Law. Very good, very good. And you did mention about the idea of graduating a semester early, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is phenomenal. Uh, Kyle, could you just explain that a little bit? Because I think there's some you know, great advice in there for uh, people uh, to you know, get out earlier. Uh, if at all possible. So I'll share that, please. Yeah, so um, honestly, I, I never really planned on graduating early for my freshman year, to be perfectly honest with you. But then uh, I started taking summer, some summer and winter classes. So with me taking summer and winter classes, it allowed me to uh, graduate a semester early. So uh, I graduated three and a half, in three and a half years. Uh, with that, it actually saved me about $8,200. Um, so that's, oh. a lot, that's a lot of money. Uh, and also, uh, it was also another great thing because a lot of uh, it's less competition for hiring because not many people are graduating out of December as they were would be in May. Um, so yeah, that's really why I graduate early. Just you know, workforce easier to find a job and just saving a lot more uh, cash um, too, which was nice. Two great things about graduating early. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and that's a great point you make too, as far as coming out at this time of the year. You're not coming out in May where all these other grads are coming out, there's that much more competition for those uh, positions. So another uh, a great advantage for you for doing that. Uh, what are some of the key life lessons that you've learned since graduating from high school, entering college in the uh, workforce, Kyle? Uh, so I think for two key habits that I've learned uh, since graduating high school, um, the first being that friends come and go. And that's, and it's perfectly okay with that. Uh, in high school and even college, I had a lot of a lot of friends. I pretty much talked, I talked to everybody. Um, and you know, as time went on, my friend group really was getting smaller. So I really had a tight, tight circle. I have a tight circle of college friends who I talked with about four or five people. In high school, my friend group is up another four or five people. Um, and it's okay because I surrounded myself with good people uh, who, I, who align with values I have as well. And this really know that I support them, they support me. And it's really important, I think, that to realize that you're not going to talk to everybody out of high school who you talk to. You're really going to find who you're, who's the right people that you need to be surrounded by with. Um, that's like the first big life lesson I've learned out of just right now. Uh, another one I would say is, you know, your habits, your habits and what you do are going to create the success what your success is going to be, right? So what you do on a daily basis and what habits you develop, it basically what you put into it is what the results are going to be. So for me, I want to be very successful. Um, so I know I need to really be, need to work hard uh, and, and establish great habits in order to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish. Uh, and I think that's two big important life lessons. I think especially now everybody um, in my demographic age group and younger needs to kind of like realize I couldn't agree more. And, and I really like your, your concept there as far as, uh, you know, good friends or whatever. And how, how do you, how would you define, um, you know, the, the smaller, tighter circle that is, is as far as what you consider to be good, your uh, good friends? You know, I think what I consider someone to be good friends is if they, one, if they're not lazy, if they want to, if they have good work ethic, they want to be successful. Because uh, if you're lazy, I, I personally, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I don't like to surround myself with lazy people. So I think it's one aligned. Uh, it's a good person. Just are they a good overall person, right? I mean, when we think of good people, like, do they do the right thing? Do they, are they, would they make ethically correct choices? Are they, 
you know, are they fundamentally right? Do they know what they're doing? Do you know wh what things, do they know what they're trying to accomplish? Um, and do they have a similar line of views I have, you know, with like how to get to be successful and everything like that comes with it. So I think it's just what's really uh, what defined me as a good person. And I always think that, you know, with, when you get your circle, your network is your net, is your net worth, right? So you want, you want to be surrounded people with how much money you want to make. You know, that's how, that's what I think is a good person in my line, in my eyes. Okay, very good, Kyle. I really like the, uh, the distinction you made there. Uh, one of the things that I've tried to uh, emphasize uh, is when I'm talking with uh, high schoolers and certainly college people and beyond is uh, there, there are certain things you can do. And since you brought up habits uh, as far as how to become the haunted in this world, okay, it's far better if, if you've got different employers potentially reaching out to you uh, for a, uh, you know, to, to be hired. And if they're doing that, you're pretty much, you know, halfway in the door, if not further. And that is in order to become the hunted, you know, you've got to have a work ethic. Totally agree with that. You know, the, these guys are, aren't paying you to hang out on your phone and social media. And unfortunately, too many people of all ages, not just the young, uh, think they can just spend all kinds of time on their screens and their phones. And it, it's going to be okay as far as the boss is concerned. It's not okay. Mm -hmm. Second, keep improving your people skills. You and I talked about the Dale Carnegie book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, mm -hmm. which you've picked up to your credit. And I was blessed to come across that book just before I turned 19. And it was actually the uh, kind of the um, uh, main part of uh, my teaching and coaching career with it, were some of the techniques out of that book. It's, it's timeless. It was written back in the 1930s. And it, it is absolutely timeless. So uh, along with... Um, the idea of work ethic and developing people skills. The other one is always be willing to go above and beyond, go the extra mile. If you want a thing, it's called the law of contrast, where you actually separate yourself out from other people. Mm -hmm. And if you're, you're a go-getter, you're, you're doing those habits of going the extra mile. Uh, and, and the other ones we mentioned, people skills and work ethic, you, by the law of contrast, are going to stand out among uh, uh, the other people and your peers as somebody who's very desirable to have within the job market. So I, I couldn't agree with you more. Excellent, excellent points. Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's why they are important. Yeah. And what, um, what is your advice for those going uh, on as far as uh, college is concerned? You know, for, for people who want to go to college or any other secondary ed education, uh, I think the biggest tip I want to say to them is, one, really make, really know your time make sure you manage your time. Time management is just, it's, it's important. Uh, and I think, you know, when, when you get to college, you know, you're going to have friends, you're going to meet, you're going to meet people. You're going to want to go out and do, you know, be a college kid and enjoy, enjoy everything that comes with it. But again, you're at college to try and further your education, to try and develop yourself. And you're trying to be in school. You're trying to, you know, develop who you are as a person. Uh, and, and I think you're spending a lot of money going to school. <laughs> College is not cheap, right? So you can't just go out there partying and messing around. You have to be able to really establish yourself at your school. Uh, and you think of you think of your schoolwork. I always thought of it as it, it, it's work, right? It's it's an eight to five job. It's 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 work. Uh, I would you know when I was in school, I was working doing schoolwork forty to fifty hours a week, right? It's and so it's really make sure you have that time management skill of that work life balance. Uh, that's one thing I would say that that is very important to to college kids, the first thing. The second thing is that um, be open-minded. Be realize that okay, you may want to go to school thinking, oh, I'm, I want to be an accountant, right? And you may want to, you may take a couple of accounting courses. Like, I'm not really like, you know, I don't want to, you know, do accounting. I want to do something else. I want to do maybe like computer science, right? It's okay to change your mind uh, as long as you're not in school forever, right? It's okay to figure it out. Um, I, I really want to yeah. say, try to figure out what you want to do by like junior year. Junior year, going into junior year, you should really figure out, okay, this is what I want to do, and it's okay to change your major. I think a lot of people fear of – some people don't know what they want to do when they get to college. They just go to college. Um, I think those are two big things I would say for people who are in college or want to go to college. That's yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't help but uh, think back on a funny movie I saw years ago, Kyle. Animal House with John Belushi, yeah, and then Belushi gets himself in trouble in college, and then he his famous line is, "Oh, seven years of college down the drain." You know, I yeah. mean, it was like 
oh my gosh, it was just just crazy. But uh, uh, you're totally right. I mean, the idea of, of spending a huge amount of time in college, it, it is expensive. And that, you know, you want to make the most of it. It is your job while you're there. Uh, people that turn it into a, a, a four-year party and come out with a very questionable degree, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to be paying that off for a long time. Oh, yeah. Again, you, you can write this off in, in bankruptcy, uh, you know, through the IRS or anything like that. As far as your college debt, you've got that. That is the way the laws are written. You've got to pay that back. So it makes no sense to go in there, get a worthless degree uh, while you're racking up huge amounts of debt. And, uh, you know, you can definitely uh, hurt yourself that way. No question about it. Any other ideas you'd like to share with teens or young adults, uh, Kyle? I would just uh, say make sure you, you never give up, right? That's uh, one mindset uh, I always lived by. Just really, just truly never give up. Try If there's a goal you want to accomplish, try and accomplish it. I know for me personally, uh, like I said, I grew up playing sports. Uh, I got cut from the high school baseball team freshman, sophomore, and junior year. I didn't make it till senior year. Um, and I, I was, there, I, there's a lot of people in my circle, a lot of friends, like, oh, why do you keep trying? Why do you keep doing it? Because it's my goal, right? If you want to accomplish something, you have to go there and accomplish your goal, right? Like for me, one of my goals is eventually become a high school athletic director, right? Uh, and to do that, I – have to get you know i'm about to go on and get my master's degree and get more schooling um i don't want anything to stop me from getting my goal from reaching that goal uh, but that's one thing i would say just really just never give up um and try and make when you're setting goals make sure they're realistic right make sure you have realistic goals that you're trying to reach not like you know some you know crazy goals you know they're not they may not they're gonna be hard to accomplish realistic goals i would say try and never give up on Mm -hmm. no, it makes total sense. And, and I think Kyle, you know, I heard this years ago and if it was um, uh, Edison or, or one of the, one of the greats of the past said that, uh, you know, if it's a case of being intelligent or uh, persisting, he'll take somebody who's persistent over intelligence. Yeah. And so the key then becomes is how do we intelligently persist? And, and one of the other things is we've all heard the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Uh, but again, uh, I, I like to put a little twist on that, and that is that at first you don't succeed, try, try again with experimentation. Mm -hmm. Don't keep being against the same wall. Try a little different angle, a little different uh, strategy to, uh, you know, get where it is that you're looking to go. Uh, Kyle, uh, if anyone have any further questions uh, for you, uh, how would they get in contact with you? Yeah, they can get in contact with me either via email or phone number. Uh, my email is O'Keefe, O-K-E-E-F-E-K-Y-L-E-80 -E -E at gmail.com. Uh, my phone number is 717-858-8433. I'll repeat both those again. Uh, gmail is O-K-E-E-F-E-K-Y-L-E-80 -E -E at gmail.com. Phone number is 717-858-8433. Uh, those are really the two best ways to contact me if anyone has any more questions. Okay, excellent, excellent. And uh, uh, this has been a great uh, discussion back and forth, Kyle. You've obviously got a work ethic. And again, for people, uh, young people learning to become the hunted, develop that work ethic, develop those people skills, and have that ability to go above and beyond for the law of contrast so you stand out. You know, again, too many people – as you said before, you try to avoid hanging with, uh, you know, anybody who's lazy and that type of thing, which is the easiest thing in the world, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But in the long run, it's, it's, a, it's a, not a good place to be. So thank you, Kyle. I appreciate it very much. And uh, we will definitely stay in touch. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mr. Law, for having me. I appreciate the interview and uh, I enjoyed our conversation today. Thank you.